The following program is intended for mature audiences. A democratic republic of sports. The Sportsocracy with ESPN Asheville hosts Tank Spencer and Jeremy Green. And welcome into the Wicked Weed studio. Tank Spencer and Jeremy Green, the Las Vegas Raiders, picked up their first loss of the season. On Monday Night Football against the Los Angeles Chargers. You know, I, I don't think it's anything you should be embarrassed about. It's nothing to throw the baby out with the bathwater and get all crazy. Oh, my God, we lost a game. Yeah, you're going to lose games. You're going to lose games in this league, and, and the Chargers are the real deal. Here's the thing. So are the Raiders. I believe this team is the real deal. Now, you've got some injury issues that you got to work through. I think they lost, what, three cornerbacks in mm -hmm. the Charger game. And so, obviously, that's going to hurt. It's a battle of attrition throughout the season. Good news is you got the Bears this week. Mm -hmm. And this is going to go just fine because their line sucks and your defense doesn't. Right. Gus Bradley has transformed this defense. This is how important. When people say, how much does coaching matter? This should be the new, hey, let's point at this. Because Gus Bradley has changed this defense. Max Crosby looks like the best pass rusher in the NFL. Mm -hmm. He looks like Khalil Mack at this point. Mm -hmm. And I, I know there's been a lot of gnashing of teeth of, oh, we lost to the Chargers. R E L. AX. The next three weeks, you play the Chicago Bears at the Denver Broncos and the Philadelphia Eagles before a bye week, which will let you get real healthy. Yeah. You will be, in my opinion, a double-digit favorite in two of those three games. Mm -hmm. Vegas won't see it that way. You know, the odds makers may not have you as a 10-point favorite. Right. You should be. You are going to beat Chicago's ever-loving brains in. Mm -hmm. You will beat Philadelphia's ever-loving brains in. Mm -hmm. Denver... I don't love that that game's in Denver, but I don't really care. Derek Carr is the guy that I've tried to tell you he was for three solid years now. Yeah. And he's finally put it all together. This offense makes sense. And the funny thing is that it's so predictable. Everything the Raiders do is so predictable. And that, to me, is the, 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 the hallmark of a great team. The Belichickian Tom Brady Patriots, you knew on damn near every play what they were doing. Because all they did was run rub routes and little little slip screens and shit to Julian Edelman, and you knew it was coming and you couldn't stop it. Mm -hmm. That's where the Raiders are now. I can damn near look at formations with the Raiders and tell you, I can't tell you the exact play that's coming. I can tell you the concept. Mm -hmm. Lewis Riddick did it on, on Monday Night Football. Hey, watch. Uh, where's Henry Ruggs? Oh, guess what? We know exactly what he's getting ready to run. Couldn't stop it. Mm -hmm. Derwin James got flat-footed against Henry Ruggs. Knowing full well what was coming. That's the hallmark of a good team. I look at the Raiders now, and outside of, I don't love you against Kansas City because you're going to you're gonna have to get in shootouts. And at the end of the day, Kansas City's going to have to make the best use of winnable games when they get them because yeah. they're a, that, that is a daunting schedule. Mm -hmm. But outside of Kansas City, Dallas, uh, Kansas City again, and the Chargers again. You're going to be the better offense in every game you play. Was there any concern for you about the Vegas Raiders offense during that Monday night football game? The fact that they had more penalty yards in the first half than they did actual yards. I know Josh Jacobs is coming back and they still have to figure out uh, what he's healthy enough to, what kind of load he's healthy enough to take on. But are you concerned at all that Derek Carr really didn't look like the Derek Carr of the first three games of the season? Until the third quarter. No. Okay. Uh, he doesn't have to be as good as he's been. Now, for them to for, for this to be a season that goes where Raiders fans want it to, then, yeah, he's got to be that guy. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, he's not Pat Mahomes. He's not even Justin Herbert. But he's a very high inside of whatever that next tier is. He's not a superstar Pro Bowl. I mean, I got a lot of flack from, from some Raiders fans for not having him in my top 100. I only had eight quarterbacks in that. So, I mean, I would say Derek Carr's in that 9 10 range. And that's what he is. Mm -hmm. He's not the guy that's going to win you games. Here's what Raiders fans have to understand he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to be that guy because now your defense is competent. Now he has to be the guy he's been, the gunslinger, but don't turn the damn ball over. 
and you have to do some things to help him. You can't have games where you, you know, have, uh, you know, 60 penalty yards and a half. But now did you notice that they had 58 penalty yards in the first half? You know how many they had in the second half? None. Not nary a one. That's, that's sign, another sign of a good team. Mm-hmm. And let's be really honest, they didn't play well offensively. They were still in it. Mm-hmm. They had the ball with under 10 minutes to go with a chance to tie the game. Didn't happen, and that's why you lost. Because Derwin James made a tremendous play on a poor decision. Because he knew what you were getting ready to do. Right. You have to be a little less predictable. And that's, a, that's one of the things that John Gruden detractors have said for years, mm-hmm. is that he is predictable as hell. Through three games, it didn't matter. And through the next three games, it's not going to matter. I think the Las Vegas Raiders are going to go to the bye week, six and one. I think this is a playoff team. And we'll see what happens from there. The AFC, to me, has one team that is just clearly better than everybody else. The Buffalo Bills are clearly better than every other team in the AFC. Clearly better than the Chiefs? Yeah. They're okay. clearly better than the Chiefs. Offensively, do you not think they're pretty equivalent? Yeah. Do you think they're equivalent defensively? They're better. No, that's not what I asked. Are these two teams equivalent defensively? I don't give a damn who's better. They're equivalent offensively. Mm-hmm. Can Kansas City hold a, f- a candle in a windstorm to what Buffalo can do defensively? No. No, then they're clearly better. Okay. There's three stages of this game. You're markedly better at one than than the only team close to you, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But now that being said, anything can happen. Once you get to the playoffs, anything can happen. Buffalo could lose in Buffalo. I don't look for it, but it could happen. And so that's what you've got to get to. You've got to get rid of the penalties. You've got to figure out this deal with Alex Leatherwood. Yep. And he's a rookie. He's a rookie, so you've got to be a little patient with him. Mm-hmm. But I, I think it, I don't have much negative to say about the Raiders. I watched that entire game, and the only thing I walked away from was the Raiders are as good as I thought they were. The Chargers are probably a little better than I thought they were. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. I like the Raiders this year, uh, which is weird because I talk a whole lot of smack about them in the offseason. Uh, but Derek Carr has proven to be the guy that you've said he was. Mm-hmm. And it'll continue because, as Jeremy said, you're going to be 7-1 and one probably going into that, chi- and into that showdown with the Chiefs. The question is, once you get into that battle, can you keep up offensively? And I think all things go go your way. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Mm-hmm. You can keep up and at least make that a very, very close game. It's going to be fun this week for the Raiders as they take on the Bears. I look for Derek Carr to be, uh, you know, probably top five, top six quarterback be in, pretty in the NFL this I, week. I think this was a Justin Fields boo-boo kitties in his pants. Mm-hmm. But. The one thing I will be uh, concerned about is that offensive line. Can they keep him protected against the Bears' rush? Mm, yes. I think they'll be just fine. Because the, the Bears only have one corner that can stop any player for them, and Eddie Jackson against Darren Waller. That'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy this week. Raiders fans will have the recap for you coming up next week right here in the Sportsocracy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you see all of our team-by-team content throughout the season. And, of course, join us every weekday morning live in the uh, Wicked Weed studio, wickedweedbrewing.com. Drink different. We're on at 10 a.m. We'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.